Another, another thing that gets me is, uh, you know, how how she can fit all that stuff. Because, like, well, we, we have an annual rummage sale at my uncle's house. And, you know, I'll load up the car. When I load up the car, I fit a bunch of shit in. Now, she goes through and redoes it and fits about 15 more things in that are about this big. Okay, honey, how the hell she does it, I don't know. I, mis- I honestly think there's like a black hole inside the car she's driving. Or the car she gets in, and it's just a pit when she gets in there. But she gets stuff shit in there. Because there is no physical way that shit can get in that car that easily. And, and by God, she'll fit it in there. If she has to spend 20, 25 minutes fitting it in there, it'll fit. One way or the other, it's going to go in the car. I don't know how she does it. Yeah, grow, growing up, even even when I was growing up, uh, she'd go to rummage sales, and it was insane. It was it was truly insane. Uh, she it would it would get to the point where she'd have so much shit in the car, she'd put me on the floor, and we'd drive all the way home. Yeah. See, back in the day, that was, safety was an issue. You know, 10, 15 years ago, it was a big deal. I'm a procrastinator, but I'll tell you about that later. Right now, I want to. Wait, wait, right now, I want to talk to you about Captain Obvious and his twin brother. Yes, sir. How many of you have ever, ever heard of Captain Obvious? Uh, so, some of you have, most of you. If you haven't, Captain Obvious is. Oh, how would you describe it? He is the person who always points out the most obvious of things. If there could be no cloud in the sky, and you and a buddy could be talking, and Captain Obvious would show up and go, Hey, the sky is blue. Well, no fucking shit. I didn't know that. Thank you. I couldn't tell there was no clouds in sight. But you didn't know that Captain Obvious has an evil twin brother. Yeah. Do you know who he is? It's Captain Oblivious. That's right, that's right, Captain Oblivious. Yes, he's the one where he is the exact opposite of Captain Obvious. Captain Oblivious will show up when you and a friend are talking and your friend says, Hey, the sky is blue. What color is the sky? Captain Oblivious goes, Green. Oh shoot. Captain Obvious and Captain Oblivious. So a lot a lot of people are just just don't like they don't really like me because I'm like so out there. Like in a sense like with energy and stuff. Like I'll have unlimited amount of energy. And uh, a lot of people be like, dude, just shut the hell up. You know? Isn't it so sick of hearing my mouth run a million miles an hour? That they'll just be like, dude, will you shut the hell up? For five minutes, shut the hell up. You're like, that's ADHD. And what I say to them guys is, you think it's bad listening to me? Imagine what it's like being me. It's all up here and I have to be all up here 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, 365 days a year, except for leap year. It's a wonder I'm still sane. Yeah, you think you think it's bad listening to me? Don't try being me. It is very hard to do. In fact, I think it is physically impossible for anybody else to be me. Sorry, I was having a joke for a moment there. I, I, I have those occasional moments, you ever, you know, I call them George Bush moments, where he'll state the obvious. You know, relating back to Captain Obvious and Captain Oblivious. You're like, I am so tired that I don't have energy to do anything. I know it's I didn't know that's what tired was. Hey, did you know the meaning of tired is not having energy to do anything? <gasps> when did this happen? So 
saw I saw the ticket prices for this show. Wow. We have one thousand seven hundred and fifty one seats sold. That's right. Twenty bucks a ticket, that is a whole lot of fucking money, man. I'm only noted tonight. So thank you all for showing up and uh, helping out with uh, my bills and shit. So, anyways, I, I said I'd tell you later um, my procrastination. It's it's actually there's a funny story behind that. Uh, I I love procrastinating because I tend to do a hell of a lot better at things when I have a certain amount of time to get it done in. Um, for instance, I woke up and I was I had like. About 20 minutes to get ready for a class. Um, back when I lived in the dorms, I had about 20 minutes to get ready for a class, and I had a paper due that day, uh, just a little one-page paper. So I, you know, my immediate thought is, "Oh shit!" Throw on the tag and just go. Shh. So I did. And I started on my paper, got dressed, started on my paper. I typed a one, one-page paper in approximately eight minutes. Okay, which I think is record. Guess what grade I got on it? I ended up getting a B. Yes, yes. Thank you. See, I'm not too stupid after all. You know what bothers me the most? It just nags at me. Is when people get up and and this is all they say is and and um. I'm like, the only other words you hear on their mouth. So they get up and give a speech like, I'm the president. You're like, and, um, the president is like, and he is like, and, um, he doesn't make a lot of money, and, um, and, um, um, it's, it's just like, kick the rails. And they're up there. And, um, um, and, and, I, I don't know what else to say. Um, and, um, um, and, uh, uh, um, uh, just make me so mad. You know what the hell are you going to say when you get up there to say something? Don't be get, get up there. Or don't get up there, you know? You know? Or, you know, I, I just don't get it. I know some people are nervous, but if you're nervous, practice in front of somebody so that you don't get in front of, of a bunch of people and go, uh, and um um uh um the president <laughs> and um like like vice president and like um and then you do this thing where you like get really nervous so you start like and then you start sweating and then you're like <laughs> you know I, I just don't get it I, I really don't get why you have to do that if you don't know what to say look up there and go I'm not sure what to say. That's all you have to do. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Thank you. I'd like to do some impersonations for you guys tonight. How'd you like that? Cool, cool. I don't know what to say right now. Um... And, um, um, uh, 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 oh yeah, um, and I was, um, going to, um, do, uh, and, um, impersonations, um, and, uh, uh.